Hey guys, welcome back to Mario 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're doing another low end PC test. It is Mass Effect Andromeda for the PC, running on my Intel Core i5 7200 with Intel ASC 620 graphics and 8 gigabytes of RAM, on single channel memory. And as you can see right now, it's not doing great. To be fair, it's doing quite well. I have everything. This is running at 768p, everything on low and resolution scale at 100%. So as you can see right now, the game isn't running quite badly for integrated graphics. It's trying at least. Um, well, everything is on low because normally when you change these, you have to start over the game again, which is stupid. I hate when you have to do it in game, but this is that's the reason. So I'll be only changing today at the resolution and the resolution scale. First, we're gonna see how we can, how much frames we can get with this. So I'm gonna drop this down to about 80, no 70, just to be sure. We were already getting a bit before. We were getting some performance. Oh, 70. Look at that. That's a that's an improvement. That's an improvement. The game still looks quite nice. The game does look great, you know. This is the latest patch of Mass Effect Andromeda. This is the latest one, so performance issues are here, but it's not that bad for sure. And now what I'm gonna do is drop the resolution down as well. I will see how it goes in, we'll see how it goes while I'm in a fight. Wish me luck during that time. We're going 960 by 720p, 40 yet. We're back. There was also another performance increase up to 20 FPS. That's not bad. During fights, sometimes the game goes up to 40 FPS. My CPU is at 100. But anyway, let's get even with driving around. There is no stutter. You know, I was expecting stutter. There is none. It doesn't exist. I love that. We have no idea how much I love that. Remnant here. And there's no stutter, stutter in this. More remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. Yes, they do. You lied. And I just lost a chunk of frames. It doesn't happen often, but it happens every once in a while. I tried frame capping this. See what would happen. Better, better shooting. That was better shooting there. It takes a second to adjust that some points, but let's drop this down to I don't know, maybe 50. I see what 50 can do for me. Well, 50 can give you the 30 FP at that point. It all depends. Holy crap, why am I about to die here? What am I doing? I guess it's because I'm recording that this is for game, but it doesn't record, it doesn't actually do like this during actual gameplay segments. Oh crap, I'm about to die. Shield, where are you? Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's just strictly because I'm recording that this is doing this. But you can get up to 30 to 40 FPS during some segments of the game. I've seen this happen. At that point, the game will win. The game doesn't freak out. It will not freak out during FPS situations. As you saw just now, it doesn't always freak out during FPS situations. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is just a little short test I wanted to show you guys of Mazda and Drummond running away. Anyway, I just want to show you guys that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I'd, even, you know, just. Just for the hell of it, I'll show you what it looks like when you drop the resolution all the way down to 25%. What a crazy amount. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa. The game can go over 30 FPS, as I said. It's because I'm recording that it can't, it seems. But yeah, it runs quite smoothly on here. Even on a low side, even when I drop the like the the frame rate to 15 FPS. It stays stable there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, just think about more content, and I'll see you guys next time. Leave a comment on the game, like, see me stress as I do them all.